But I'm just saying to just create the reality. I just want to share that reality, the awareness, the self-awareness, the awareness of your environment, that people are different and it's okay to be different. You two, I have a gem for you guys today. This one is more specifically for my brothers and sisters. Now, guys, more specifically for my introverted brothers and sisters. And I wanted to talk about being black and introverted. And I looked on YouTube and I don't really see people talking about this. Do I think it's an important subject? I do. Why? Because I'm an introverted black man. And I know that you guys are probably, you know, experiencing a lot of things. And a lot of you guys probably aren't even aware of introversion is. Let's talk about it. I won't go so in depth with it because I have videos about that. And I will link my introvert uh, playlist as well. So you can check that out and get some more insight on what introversion really is and different battles and things like that. You know, I mean, a lot of relatable things. But again, these are just my, my perspective and opinions. These aren't laws. These aren't anything like that. I'm just putting this out there for anybody who relates to it. Maybe it'll give you a boost in life, a boost in morale, boost in confidence, help you with your self-awareness and self-acceptance and self-love. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Ken Banks, and it's the perfect place for anybody looking to overcome a person. Very in life, we discuss topics pertaining to personal development and mental health and success and growth mindset. Royal family, I appreciate you guys. And I know nine out of 10 of you guys, you know, probably just searching this because you were interested in a topic, but that one out of 10, my royal family that, you know, I understand that, <clears throat> I understand that some of you guys are here because you're introverted, you know? A lot of you guys are here just out of genuine love and support for me. And some of you guys are here because of different mental health aspects or personal development. So right here, I just want to highlight this because a lot of you guys may be introverted as well. So the first point I wanted to highlight is this, that I understand that. See, black people, we are an oppressed people and we move, we go through life with a chip on our shoulder because we are set back and everything we get is truly out the mud, is truly worked hard for, is truly grinded for. And I appreciate that, I respect that. That's the, you know, the hustle off the muscle. Everything we get is, we gotta get it out the dirt, dust it off. And it's a diamond, you know what I mean? Diamonds of the dirt. So it's when it kind of set this thing that here's the majority of America per se, you know what I mean? I'm not from other countries, I don't know. Majority of America is right here to start where they're supposed to start at, at the beginning line. And then there's minorities and then there's black people. You know what I'm saying? But see, the introverted black individual is not your regular black individual because we don't have a lot of the natural umph that other black people have because when you're introverted, you're more shy, reserved, and timid. So it, 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 it prevents you from being as aggressive and as assertive. It, it makes it more difficult for you to stand up and, and say, here I am, this is who I am, hate it, I love it, whatever. It, it makes it harder for you because it is not your natural state. It is not who you naturally are. You're more reserved, you're more shy, you're more to yourself, which can appear as weak, which can create two different battles for you, you understand? Because on the one end, the world is already treating you as they treat black people, you know? But you're not the, as you would say, like a Tupac individual, as a Malcolm X individual, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that introverts can't be powerful, can't be leaders, can't be these things, because not saying introverts are those things, they just go about it a different way. On the other end, you find more scrutiny in your own community because you know, black people, we, we tend to be very hard on each other because we have tough skin. So we tend to, you know, kind of take jabs at each other and things like that. Most of the time it's out of love. I understand that I respect it, you know what I mean? But introverts, we're not really good with people because that's not our strong suit. That's not our comfort zone, you know what I mean? We're, we're more comfortable on our own or in small groups, one-on-one -on -one situations. We're focused on you know, the quality of relationships, not the quantity of relationships. So it's usually more challenging for us. And we're usually, we're usually a person that's viewed as, as weird, odd, strange, um, and things like that. Or sometimes people take it in a negative way and think that we're, we usually come off as narcissistic or self-indulged or you know things like that. But all honestly, we're just individuals who enjoy our own space because we don't like influence. 
We don't like being influenced. You know what I mean? We're not the individuals who see what people are doing and we're like, oh, that's cool. Let me try it. We're the individuals who are nine to ten. We don't even know what's going on until it becomes so big that it reaches us in our small in our small bubble. You know what I mean? So nine times out of ten, the introvert, we are the person who has no idea what's going on, what's popular, what's cool, until it just becomes a super mega thing that we it, it just reaches our own. Um, it reaches us in our in our in our bubble. So partially, I want to put this video out here for all of my brothers and sisters, my black brothers and sisters who are not uh, introverted, who are extroverted. Give us, um, just un try to understand that everybody doesn't enjoy the same things. You know what I mean? For example, the introvert is viewed as boring, but in all actuality, it's just the fact that we do not like larger groups. Matter of fact, it is draining for us. It is mentally draining for us. And it's unhealthy for us as well. It's exhausting for us. But we don't want to be out trying to fit in and mingle and party because we don't like that. We enjoy the relaxed get together. A few close friends that we can talk about life with. Introverts, we don't enjoy small talk. I don't want to sit around and talk about who's doing what, what he and she said, what you thought about the we, we want to talk about what's, what how 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 are you doing in life? How can I help you in life? What are you working on in life? How is that going? How's this person? You know, your loved ones and things like that. And we want to talk about our endeavors as well, too. Nine times of ten, we're introverts. People don't let us really talk about our life. They want to tell, they want to talk to us about them because we're good listeners. They want to tell us about them. People don't really value the opinion of an introvert. And we're not the person, the, the type that's going to assert ourselves like, hey, listen to me. Guess what's going on? We're not that type of personality. We're not. You know, so it's really hard and we usually are the person that's looked at as weird, odd, awkward, socially awkward. And people usually just push us to the side. You know what I mean? And it's, and it's challenging in the black community because we're known like on a micro level. Black people are very fun to be around, very entertaining, very full of life, um, very, you know, just it's just fun, you know what I mean? So it's like when you're introverted and black, you're the you're the person like, oh, he, ooh, you know, it's 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 a challenging thing. If if you know, you know, you know what I mean. If you know, you know. Uh, this might not really make sense, but if you're watching this, you're probably black and introverted, so you know what I'm saying when I'm saying it. You know what I mean? It's just the fact that the world is filled with different people, and in 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 America, it's an extroverted country. You know what I mean? It's an extroverted country. And there's a lot of expectations for how a person should behave, how a person should think, what what suspected, you know, what a leader looks like, what a what a superstar looks like, what a popular person looks like, what a, a a personality should be, things like that, right? Alpha male, beta male, things like that. Those of an introvert are all the things that are on the negative side, all the things that are looked down upon, and it makes a person feel like they can't be themselves. But in actuality, about as many people are introverted as as many people wear glasses. But the glasses are something that's normal and it almost creates this whole uh, uh, aesthetic where a person seems like they are smart or things like that. But when it comes to introversion, still people are still looked at as an inferior personality. And it's not the inferior personality because there's no superior personality. It's just personalities. It's just person. It's just being. And it's really just about accepting and appreciating and valuing people because we all have different gifts, values that we bring to the table. So when you want everybody to start acting a certain way and have a certain character, you start to destroy the dynamic that the world is supposed to have. So. I really want to say in this video to not expect things from people and just start respecting and appreciating people more, more than anything, right? That the life is already hard and it's especially hard when you're black, when you're black in America, you know what I mean? Uh, black all anywhere around the world, right? And this is not any a diss to anybody who's watching this and who isn't black but introverted or who isn't black and isn't introverted and still wants to watch this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for being here, you know, but I'm just saying to just create the reality. I just want to share that reality, the awareness, the self-awareness, the awareness of your environment, that people are different and it's okay to be different. And everybody's weird to somebody. You know what I mean? You could be wearing, you could be what it considered cool and somebody on the opposite end thinks that's weird. You know what I mean? So everybody's weird to somebody. Everybody thinks somebody's weird. So at the end of the day, 
doesn't really matter, man. You really got to just be comfortable with being yourself. And so a lot of a lot of introverts are, are trying to portray themselves as extroverts. And every day they're draining themselves. Every day they're not happy. They're uncomfortable. They're frustrated. They're mentally drained, mentally exhausted because you're not allowing yourself to just be how you are because you're trying to fit someone else's image of you. And I don't want you guys to do that anymore. I want you guys to embrace being an introvert. You know what I mean? And if you need more insight on what that actually is, again, I have a playlist. I'm gonna link it up here on one of the cards so you guys can check out my introvert playlist. A lot of information on that, different types of introverts, what introversion is and different battles that we face. I don't wanna go too far with this, um, but if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification, join my royal family. So you know when I post, man, you know when I post videos, you can tap in with me, you can post comments down below. Let me know what other type of content you want based on introversion, you know what I mean? Or anything else, mental health, personal development, anything, man, because this community is here to grow so that we can become best versions of ourselves, live life to the to its fullest. And I'm not talking about partying and drinking and smoking and, and, and going crazy and trying to see how many girls we can have sex with. I'm talking about being, you know, I'm talking about pure fulfillment, happiness, success, uh, self-mastery, self-growth, you know, literally growing to a higher level as an individual, as a community, as human beings, as spiritual beings, you know what I mean? So with that, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, and as always, choose to overcome, stay positive, be blessed, continue to persevere. And until next time, peace.